the person you dating, right? Do you follow him? Would you follow the person you dating? No. Cause oh. I'ma tell you something. Cause it's I don't know. It's kind of different for me. See, how can I break it down? People that I be talking to, they they be like, oh yeah, you got them niggas up. Cause they let Insta, they let Instagram all these followers or something like that. They think it's oh this. I'm not, yeah. No, like I'm trying to build a network here. I don't like that. I'm trying to build a brand. That's why you don't see too much of my personal life unless mm -hmm. I'm vending, unless I'm talking about me. You feel me? Mm -hmm. I'm not hiding them. But if you ask, I'll keep it real because it's a lot of shit that happened to me. That I want to, like, you know, as far as if I, like, I used to do my Wednesday night, I would have spoke on, but at the same time, I don't have to just be like, ah, this is what happened to me, this is what's going yeah. on in my life, this is my man, this is, it'll flow, mm -hmm. life flows, but I don't post too much of my personal life on social media, though, I just like to look, you, you know, wear an outfit, promote my brand, sell an outfit here and there, make some pants, you know, do this, do that, I don't have to say this is how I'm really living, let all it in, if it flows in that way, then it flows. Mm -hmm. I'm about money, chopping power wild like I'm Paul Bunyan Nigga, y'all slow with your small comments Put these large paws on your jaw, dummy Sucker, y'all call, have the law coming It's just small talk, don't involve money Dripping off sauce, counting all hundreds I can't fall off, this ain't y'all moment Small dog, I evolved from it Showing all flaws till it brought money Grind it all costs like we all hungry Bitch, I'm eating good, fuck your small stomach Pain and struggle Came from nothing, nothing wasn't cutting Plus the bluffing never was an option I was hustling, young and thugging I turned out to nothing to profit I'm on a fantasy Sippin' chop a can of twisted in the phantom, hidden by the tents. Best watch your mannerism in Atlanta, slipping no banana peel in his dent. Chasing that bag, still out of Nashville. Yo, what's up, man? It's your boy Lano XL, Mr. 18 Pockets. And today, y'all already know what we're doing, man. This is the Born Rich Podcast. I am so happy to be back. It's a new year. Um, I got a special guest, man. This is a, not not even a special guest. I got a special co-host today because Born Rich Boopy is out of town handling and Born Rich business right now. So he's unable to be here at this moment. So what did we do? We went out and we got one of our Cashville on. Y'all already know, man. We got the Black Mona Lisa. That's what you like hey. to call yourself. What you like to call yourself? My name is Kim. We know your name, but what but do I you like call? Kim. I like to be called Ken. Okay, so where the Black Mona Lisa come from? Everybody always asks me that, really, to be honest. My play brother. Man, quit giving us that R&B. Uh, um, uh, my brother gave it to me one day. He called me. He was so mad. He was, like, on Twitter. He said, man, what everybody got a hell pretty in their name for? Take it off of there. That was your name in first, what, Ken Pretty or something? Pretty, pretty Ken. <laughs> Okay. Is that like everybody doing Barbie now? I don't know, but this was like a long time ago. And he said, take it over there. You need to be called yourself Black Mona Lisa or something. That's I a said, good name. I know. I said, is you trying to call me ugly and cute at the same time? And he was like, no, I'm just saying. Hey, Mona Lisa that, was. Yeah, that's what I said. And he gave it to me. That's how I got it. And then I changed all my social sites today because he said, take it pretty up off your name. Everybody doing that. That's true though, right? If you think about it, look, everybody was set call it cause dudes call it what, little? Man, I don't get that little. Everybody little. Look. Look. And they be bigger than me. And we be like, hey bro, my little. name is Lil Tim. I'm like, hey bro, <laughs> I don't name Lil Tim, man. You six eight. You know what I'm saying? I'm five <laughs> six, bro. So look, is that the same how people say Barbie? Cause I see a lot of women now that call themselves Barbie something, right? No diss either to nobody, right? If you, if no, you, we're not dissing. Yeah, right. if you call your name, if your name was a Barbie, then, hey, that's that's just what it is. I'm just saying it's a lot yeah, of littles, a lot of it's a lot of pretties, and it's a lot of Barbies, right? And it's a lot of dolls. Can't like dolls. Yeah. I think I see more. I think I see more littles than that anyway. But like I said, man, we got one of our special co-host man somebody who represents 615 to the fullest from the east west south north somebody who is out there and got motion going what's up i wish i had motion going you got a little something going though you used to do your wine you used to do your, your thing on facebook i used to see yeah i did used to do my thing i don't know what stopped me from doing oh you know what it was I deleted everybody off my Facebook because I couldn't see people that I wanted to see. So I was like, I don't know a lot of these people. How can I get them to still follow me but not be my friend? Why I gotta look at their stuff? Just so, don't look at your. Just don't look at your social media. I follow. I, I I've got a lot of people on my social media apps that I never met in person, right? But you know, they. 
But on the daily stores, how can I keep up with your podcast and stuff if I never see it until five days later and I keep seeing the same rubbish? Like you get what I'm saying? Oh, that's, you got you got to go in it. You just got you got you got to search it. Then if you seeing that you can't see the podcast, you got to search how it. How can I if I see it? It should come down my time because this is what I want to see, what I'm interested in. But it don't be like that. So I was gonna delete Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I think face. I think Instagram can beat up Facebook, right? Yeah, to me, I can't. Facebook is like the granddaddy. Yeah, and it's for your grannies and aunties to keep up with your old elders, if you ask me. Keep up with your old classmates and stuff like yeah. that, what they doing. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I look at yeah, Facebook. I, I like Facebook, though. I like Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Snapchat, anything to get my podcast to the forefront of where I want it to go. I'm with all those social media sites. But I understand what you're saying about the not being able to see certain people and people that you don't know you yeah. see more of what they activities got going on. Facebook be focused. Oh, Facebook is right. I hear you. So let's talk about so since we already right here talking about social media, let's I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I want to ask a question, man, because I get so much um feedback about social media when I'm dating, right? <laughs> so let me ask you, yeah, yeah go and sip your water because we already know them DMs probably on fire. Baby, I do not even do all that. <laughs> How is dating? But I'm saying like, but I know you probably, like a lot of people probably don't do all that, but you still a female, right? And I, and your, you know, your DMs still on fire. You from Nashville, right? So people see, people know you, people see the, people know, you know, when we was younger, now the, you know, boom, bow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? No, I'm just like, but you DMV ain't playing. Popping. I know but it's popping. I know, but every but the, but it be so random though because it be like, oh, okay, where he see me at? Is somebody they can see, yeah they can literally see you, like see you right here, and then next thing you know, boom, they in your DMs as if I wasn't right here in front of you. Like you feel what I'm saying? That be yeah, we because that's the new that's the, but that, that, that's the new way of get that's the new way of. Like talking to somebody like back in the days, of, I hate to say back in the day because then you like showing my age and shit. But a long time ago, you used to and not even have an ink pen in the club, but you would ask a girl for a number, you'll get a number like yeah, phone, phone, right? But now it's what's your social what's media? Your Instagram. What's your Every Instagram? Time, that's how I got a lot of followers. What's your Instagram? What's your Instagram? Everywhere, everywhere I go, every city, every state, every mm -hmm. beach, I don't care where I'm at, even out the country, what's your Instagram? They want to know your Instagram. Cause you turn up, you but you 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 the life of the party, right? So people want to get to know you, right? How do you? So let me ask you this: When somebody, when a, when a random person hits you in your DM, boo, how do you do you judge them? But do you go straight to their pictures without being looked at? Like you know, you able to for them to able to know that you looked at their shit. Oh yes, I gotta go on their page, and I be so fucking mad. I be mad when I'm. Not following them, I'm like, damn, I gotta follow them for they can accept me so I can see who they pictures on their page and I gotta wait to see who they like. Damn, they private hit you and then you gotta wait to see. Because I don't know who it is. I, some True. Sleep, I don't know True. who it is, so I know who they are. If I, I can't go on their page to see, I could just see the Abby. You can't blow the Abby picture up, so I just yeah. gotta see who is this in my DMs. Dating on dating on social media, right? So let me, so, so I'm gonna say this to you dating on social media. What's what's the what's the pros and what's the cons of dating on social media? You never know what you might get. You post your, would you post your man? Yeah, if I had a man, I would post my man, but it it wouldn't be like the top priority of my relationship. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like it wouldn't be. Oh, babe, let me take a picture of us because that ain't got nothing. You feel me? If you look at my Instagram and mm -hmm. you see me, when do you single? See I see single. Yeah. That's but that's what. Personal but if you in a relationship, but if you in a relationship, do you still post like you single? I do. Yeah. If I'm in a relationship, sometimes I might be like, and I don't do it on purpose. It's just I'm private. But when when you say you private to people, people make it like you trying to hide yeah, something. So, but yeah. I'm like, no, nah, I'm just private because I grew up with, I grew up in, I, I grew up in this city, right? So when you post somebody. And you not, you don't even got to be a big deal, but people can just know you, right? And if you post somebody and you tag them with, like you tag their name, a lot of people will get in that person's inbox or DM and they'll tell everything that you did in third grade. Man, dang, that done happened to you before. That sounds like a past experience. Everything done happened to me. I'm a, I mean, listen, I'm from, everything done happened to me. I don't mind speaking on things that I don't went through. Of course that done happened to me. I think to this day, females, are, they won't, they won't, 
I don't think a female really are just be honest one hundred percent, but most definitely they are, they they look at people who like your pictures. They look mm-hmm. at all that stuff, right? Yeah. I, well, do you you look at do you look at like the person you dating, right? Do you follow him? Would you follow the person you dating? No, cause oh. I'm gonna tell you something. Cause it's I don't know. It's kind of different for me. See, how can I break it down? People that I be talking to, they they be like. Oh yeah, you got them niggas up because they let Insta- they let Instagram all these followers or something like that. They think it's oh this I'm not, yeah. no like I'm trying to build a network here. I don't like that. I'm trying to build a brand. That's why you don't see too much of my personal life unless mm-hmm. I'm venting, unless I'm talking about me. You feel me? Mm-hmm. I'm not hiding them. But if you ask, I'll keep it real because it's a lot of shit that happened to me. That I want to, like, you know, as far as if I, like, I used to do my Wednesday night, I would have spoke on, but at the same time, I don't have to just be like, ah, this is what happened to me, this is what's going yeah. on in my life, this is my man, this is it'll flow, mm-hmm. life flows. But I don't post too much of my personal life on social media, though. I just like to look, you, you know, wear an outfit, promote my brand, sell an outfit here and there, make some pants, you know, do this, do that. I don't have to say this is how I'm really living, let all it in. If it flows in that way, then it flows. Yeah. So you look at social media as a business, basically. Yeah, right? like, like, this I- is as my brand that I'm building. Yeah. If I was to come out, Black Mona Lisa is my brand. That's a brand. You know what I'm saying? So if I was to come out with Kanisha, Instagram, that's me. Yeah, for sure, for sure. You know sure. what I'm saying? Yeah. That's me. Then it'll be more personal. Then I got my family and stuff then like that. Then I got that. everything flowing with the page, but that's not what Black Mona Lisa is. You might get a sneak peek of my son. You might get it. You might, you know, who knows? I might post my man one day. My man, my man, my man. Is that how you going to be like that? <laughs> What about if your man? Like well, what about if your man be like, I'm private. I don't want to be posted. Then he private. He don't want to be posted. Cool. cool. I'm gonna hit him with the wheel. Turn his neck gonna be gone. But my man. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm it's gonna man. be my man. So, <laughs> so look, speaking on your brand and stuff like that, because that's something that I noticed. Um, my back and forth, y'all. I I'm here, then I'm gone because I was in the streets and stuff like that. But what I will say, every time that I came home, I always saw a transformation with you, right? Like, and when I'm, and yeah, that, and that's good. Like, so I always, and what I mean by trans, uh, transformation, y'all, I always seen growth, right? Because people tell it, tell me about that. They be like, damn, bro, I know you from here to here to here. And I always done change who Lano was, right? I'm always going to come back and I'm going to be kind of better. But I see that you building a brand. How, what made you say, you know what, fuck it. I'm about to do this right here. I see right now I'm not really where I want to be right now I'm back at the drawing board to figure out like damn what I want to go hard in right now to see I need to find my lane mm-hmm. I'm gonna switch my lane up now I'm trying to really find my lane and it's gonna come soon y'all gonna see what lane it is it's a really good lane though but but you don't but you my... dope with styling like, you, yeah, you're, yeah, you're a very dope stylist that's, though but it's all gonna flow together the lane that I'm going in now mm-hmm. it's gonna all flow together with the styling and everything it's gonna flow together but what made me just want to be entrepreneur, that's just what I am. I'm not, honestly, I'm not meant to work a regular job, though. Like, I got too much. My personality is too, when you when you work under people and stuff, you got to tone it down. You, mm-hmm. know, you got you to gotta bite. I, I, I just like to be myself every day when I wake up and I roll over and I put my clothes on. I just want to be myself. I don't want to have to put on a facade. I know how yeah. to tone myself down and I know how to go in a room and act. I got, you know, I got common sense. Most definitely got but common sense. I also sense. want people to know who I am because if I lay down tonight and I die tomorrow, remember I was never fake. I was just, this, this is me. Yeah. I so this always been you right here. Yeah, like remember who yeah, I am. Yeah, for sure. For being me, not for, but, <clears throat> Oh, excuse me, not for who a person think I am. Because mm-hmm. people always ju- going to judge you regardless of if they know you. Yeah, most you. definitely, they most definitely. encounter you for five minutes and, you know, the hate be so real, but the love be unconditional. When I say that, it doesn't matter if a person hates you over here. I swear to God, somebody over here love me so hard. Yeah, you know, most definitely. Know, it might not be too many people that love you hard, but, man, it's worth a handful is worth enough to me. Okay. I got you right there. Let me ask you this. I, I got this. So let me ask you this. Taking your brand from Nashville, right? Starting your brand, uh, building your brand, moving to Houston, right? Yes, I know. <laughs> moving to Houston. Let me ask you this. What's what's a it, during that transformation right there? Is that when like you like okay? I know I got something. Even though you saying you're trying to find your lane right now, 
but those times, because that's huge to pack your bags. I had to, I packed my bags up and moved to, and moved to Dallas, I right? I we talked about that. So that was a huge move for me, right? Yeah. So I'm saying for you to make that transition from being from Nashville, but taking that, being able to take your brand all the way down to Houston, how was that? Like, what, what, what did Houston, what, what did you get out of Houston? It's bigger. Yeah, I most definitely. The, it's so many. It's bigger than Atlanta. Yeah, big, way big and black. But Houston, I was working though. What I got, I couldn't get in the way I wanted to because, as you know, I got my son. Mm-hmm. So it's me and my son back and forth, back and forth, trying to. I'm trying to be down here, build this brand, work this job, and then be a mom at the same time. Mm. So that's why I had to come back because. Boom, I couldn't get my son in no kind of school. And I'm like, I'm not going to keep on paying for what my son can go to school for free up here. Yeah. It's just not going to work how I work. So, boom, I put my shit back on the U-Haul and I came back. But being down there and meeting the people that I meet, I still got friends that call me like, when you coming to, yeah. I'm coming to Nashville? I've never been to it's, Nashville. It's a big difference, it's culture, big, right? And they supported me. By, yeah. by the time... The time that I was down there and the people that I met, they didn't mind supporting my boutique, especially girls. I had people, oh, I need something to wear. What you got on your website? Mm-hmm. The people I work with at the job that I was at, mm-hmm. they was buying stuff. Like, that's what I can't say difference. Like, they wasn't hesitant on supporting me yeah. as if I was here because I feel like a lot of people around here be hesitant to support Talk me. your and shit. Talk your when shit. When I come and I be in there, they be like, where you get this from? So how you like, feel about the support from Nashville? I mean, you know, it's, it's so-so. It's iffy. Yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's I now. felt I like got some supporters, but it could have been, and you know, I feel like it could have been better. Maybe I didn't work as hard, but it could have been better. I feel like I feel like when I was in the streets, right? When I was in the streets, I feel like I got a lot of love. Like I got a lot of love when I was in the streets, and it was from guys and girls that was not even from East Nashville that I even I didn't even grow up with. You know what I'm saying? Right. And I got so much embrace and love just off of that, right? But then once I switched and I and I started like podcasting, I started losing the my best my my best people around me, yeah. and I'm like, damn, you know what I'm saying? Other people that I that that do that that I knew that didn't do podcasts at then and then I started doing. You know what I'm saying? Not not saying that you know I'm the reason that they did it, but like they ain't even. Holler at me. Like, if I have drugs and stuff, they'll call me, holler at me, you know what I'm saying, be my friend. But once I started really and, and still is still really trying to do my brand and build my brand, right, I started getting a lot of negative feedback from people that I grew up with. You know what I'm saying? So I feel you on that. I mean, I got a couple people around me like, damn, chill. I be like, damn, you went to spend how much at somebody's boutique? I'm like, oh, okay, yeah. Maybe she didn't like my stuff I had. I just take it as if maybe yeah. this ain't her style. Maybe this, I ain't got what you want. But you but, but you then, really know it's their style because you know them. I, I, I mean, I you being get, humble right now. Like, yeah. you really being humble because you don't yeah. want to talk. She don't really want to talk her shit, then, but no, I'm going to talk her shit for her. Yeah. <laughs> she your friend. She know what type of shit you like. She know what you like to dress. And then you'll still go the other way and go buy something. And you know, bitch, I got the same shit. You know what I'm saying? You're going to spend 700 800 over here. Bitch, I got the same shit. I understand, though, because some people just, it's the name, right? It's the, I went and I fucked with Lano. Yeah. After, damn. You know what I'm saying? Why you fuck with Lano? Uh, you should have went over. You, you should have went to Joe Budden Podcast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> why so, you do that, all right, so but look. You, I mean, I say, you right, though, but hey, to each his own. But I've learned that, though, like, it's not going to be the people around you who's going to be the quick to support you. They'll catch on when it's when it's blasting. Yeah, time, most definitely. When you flying in the clouds and stuff. But right now, yeah. while you riding and you getting away, it's like, damn, I, I don't understand sometimes, like, you in a different lane than me. So you do this type of thing, and I do this type of thing. We can fly off together. Glass yeah. off can be together. Like, you help me help you. I just... I don't know. I think it's the knowing. I'm not gonna lie, man. I, I think for my for me breaking all of this type of shit down, I think it's just the knowing. Like I know you, right? Because think about this. A lot of people that we know, they will support someone that they don't know way further. Because listen what we just said. It's so many people that we didn't know that supported us, right? right. And I think I think it's the knowing of I know him. I remember when, because a lot of people, I'm, I'm seeing you agree with this. A lot of people give, a lot of our friends give the lower version of us when they meet new people. Mm. I'm going to say that again. A lot of our mm. friends 
give the low version of us when they meet new friends. They're going to always throw up who you used to be and not recognize you. Exactly. Exactly, right? I get that a lot. A lot I mean, I get that a lot around. People always knock me. People always going to have something to say about me, though. But me, I, I don't give a fuck. You don't, don't care? Hell no, because at the end of the day, you don't know what storms I fight off at nighttime or what my mm. or what I got to go through. So, therefore, you can't tell me how I can live my life or what type of attitude to have towards certain people. When you, ever since you met me, I'm always happy. You you rarely see me in a bad mood. You don't see me in yeah. a bad mood. You well, don't I don't see, see you in some bad no, I ain't never saw you in a bad mood. I'm bad bad bad. I ain't never saw you in a bad mood. But you see me, but when you see me, it's always a good vibe. It's not no. Most definitely. It's not a. Most I don't definitely. Know what, you ain't never had to nah, worry about. Nah. I, I'm one of the people that can come to your house. You feel me? Bring me to your house and stuff like that. You know, yeah. You don't brought me to your house. You know, you can trust me. You know, for sure. Baby. For sure. I know what you're saying, though. You know Most what I'm definitely. Saying? So it's, it's not that. It's just that people have this persona of me because they that's who they think they know. They don't really know me. People don't really know me. People think they know. They don't know me. People don't even know my baby daddy. <laughs> they don't know me. They don't know yeah, me. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how I am. People like, they, don't know me. they see my new son, they be like, who your baby mom? I was just like, hey man, don't worry about it. Yeah, people don't know me. They just, uh, of course, a hater. Of course, a hater gonna throw salt. I yeah, mean, they gonna do that anyways. You feel me? They, this snail ain't never moved slow. This snail has never moved slow. This, I ain't got, they gonna okay. throw salt all day. They still can't kill my vibe. They gonna people. Uh, you mention my name somewhere. Ah, oh, yeah, man, I'm around a bitch. I, I mean, from girls to niggas, niggas throwing shade on me. The other niggas, girls. Throwing it could shade. be better support for yeah. our city, right? Is girls that what you're basically saying? Yeah, it could be, but it's so much hate. It's so much like she thinks she's doing something. Me on this podcast now because you gave me so much recognition because you spoke highly of me because for you sure know, you you paid attention to who I am. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, for sure. You said you watch me grow. You watch me yeah, do this. The personality has always been my job. speaking on what you know because not only have you, you've been around me by yourself. You done been around, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you done for been sure. in my space. We done had conversations over the phone so therefore you can speak on that but because you spoke highly of me it's going to be a motherfucker to say yeah. It's gonna be mm -hmm. one of the other. Yeah, yeah. It was it's always like, it's always like it's gonna that. Always be a diss. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna always be something. But because you recognize who I am, you feel me? And you know, I was meant to be bigger than what I'm at right now. Period. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you a question right here. This off sub, this off topic right here, man. We just this this is this is something that I want to know. I want to know your female, right? So if if a female like 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 you said, people want to. Get your Instagram name right. What's your Instagram name? And then you get a man and stuff like that. Do they hit you up automatically or do you hit them up? When a female? A dude. A no, dude. when we back on your dating. Like, do you I date? First, do you even date? Yes, I like the date. I do dates. You do? Yes, I date. I date, but it don't. What's your first dates be like? Tell me. I want to know that. Give give us give okay, us a glimpse of your it first date. what type of guy it is. Like, one <laughs> It just be all up. Sometimes it be good. Sometimes it be like, mm, yeah. Give me your worst know. experience and then give me your, your your best experience. So I, right now I want your worst experience in dating. Okay. Well, okay, one day I was in a car with this dude. This was a couple years ago. And we were sitting in the car. I think we was at the gas station or something. Oh, my God. I feel sorry for this dude. I, I, the way <laughs> and, you sounding right now. And, no, I, you know, I smoke weed every now and then. You know? Uh-huh. So, Okay, cool. We in the car. I don't know what made him think it was okay to pull out his weed. <laughs> pull out his, he started lacing his blunt up, and I told him, oh, "You gotta get out of my car right now." Oh, are you had also oh, you went on. So you basically went on a first date experience was with a drug addict. I feel like it was get out of my car. Cause what makes you think that he was did okay? it instantly right there in the car at the thing we see in the back. Why, why would you even think I would? This y'all first time that? hanging and everything. Yes. And they gonna tell me I I do my I don't need no it's not that I'm judging you it's not for me get no I'm judging you, you. listen get listen get you get in my car, get out my car and if it's not now if it's a blunt out my car it's different but if you putting stuff on your blunt or anything you can't even smoke cigarettes around me get out my car yeah out the top get out get out my face right yeah so now give and me they a, really be on and they really oh these niggas so what's a, what's a good okay so what's a good dating experience with you like like what you like. Hibachi, 
Do we got to be a nice restaurant? No, I like chicken. You could take me. I'm not a picky girl. It doesn't. I don't have to be all nice, nice, fancy. It's cool. Girls be overdoing. Huh? You can take me get some wings and stuff just because I'm a talk. Yeah. I want to talk. I want to eat something that I want to eat. Okay. I don't want to eat nothing. I, you feel me? Then I'm like, I don't want to do all that sometimes. It's cool to get You don't want nice no duck with car, uh, um, with cottage cheese fried yeah, on it, right? Nah, I don't want that, nigga. <laughs> we could go to the Cheesecake Factory. I'm down for Also, you a cheese. They got, this mar- they got these martinis that be fine and stuff. I'm saying I'm They not said here. don't go to the Cheesecake Factory. They said factory. don't go to the Cheesecake Factory. It's not a date, but I'm just trying to figure out. They I think anything could be a date, They right? mamas used to get taken to the Cheesecake Factory because I yeah. know my mama got took in a lot of I think of the park is the park, like the park, um... A cheesecake. Picnic. That stuff is nice. Can somebody take you to a fast food restaurant on the first date? It depends on what type of fast food. It McDonald's. Is. I, really don't. I don't eat. See, I don't well, really see. Eat. Well, it, I mean, he can't take you I then. Go, yeah, I don't go there myself. I'm not for the pull. Up you don't eat fast food at all. Well, I mean, you know, I like Subway. Okay, so what? Can he? Can Captain somebody D's. take you to he Subway? Can take Captain D's. What about Captain D's? Captain D. Hey, Captain D's ain't bad. I don't know. I'm, I, I'm to be honest with you. I, to be I honest, I'm gonna say this: I am a person that my first dates always kind of be like somewhere where I want to go. Outside, chill, you know, laid back, you know. Now I got plenty of balls. I got, I got low key nice balls that I, I could, I can go to. You like right? to put them on to something new, like I yeah, in there, yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like to be. You ain't been right here, <laughs> but, but I, I do it morally because of me want to be comfortable where I'm at, right? Yeah. I don't want to, I don't, of course I'm not going to take nobody to Burger King, but I do want to be able to know that I'm, I can take you to Burger King if yeah. I wanted to, right? If we pull up, what if I be like, hey, I'm stopping at Captain D's or Subway, you want a sandwich, a six foot or So you dating, you don't mind, you don't, so say, as you a date, you don't mind dating somebody who don't have to take you to these high class restaurants and stuff like that. I don't like really that. eat that a lot unless it's a birthday, f- I'm not going to I these, do. but Every now and then I do, but I'm just saying I cook most of the time. Though, yeah. Let's be honest. Like I literally cook in, in five times out of a week regardless. I don't have enough time to go, oh, pick my son up from school, then go here, do this, and go to a fancy restaurant. I don't have – my son ain't going to eat there. I got to yeah. get some of my son He got to get some chicken nuggets. <laughs> you know what he want. Yeah, he for sure. He's not going to eat there. He's not going to eat there. So why am I going to go? So how can I go enjoy my dinner when my son ain't eating? Then I got to go make sure he eat. True. I don't got enough time during the week when I'm working during the day. So let me ask you this right here. So when you building your brand, right, and, and dating, because I want to just stay on this right here because I know this is hard for me. How is it for you dating while you're building a brand, a successful brand, though? Is it insecurity comes in? Insecurity definitely plays a part of Men do be... Talk to men us. Talk to do us. Be insecure for real. Hold on. So you said men do be insecure. Yeah. They when do. they dating a, a when they dating a boss. They do. And I ain't a boss yet. I'm just trying to make it up there. I'm just. So what do you get? So like basically, what what do you get from? Why, why do you say a man is insecure? Like what you doing, I, right? Yeah, they they get insecure. Give me an example. Give me an example. Having a lot of followers. Oh, I bet them. I mean, even if they don't look at me. What 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 do they say? <laughs> You gotta say what they say. What they say? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you ain't gotta say no nine. We want to know what the I'm fuck do people gonna, say. I definitely never said that. Okay, so what? What? what like what? Like, what would they? What I'm would they say? Be like, oh, I bet. Um, damn, you gonna uh, if I say send me a picture, they be like, send me a picture. Uh-huh. I'd be like, dang. Uh, I might want to put my good picture on Instagram before you put it on Instagram and let all them niggas put them. I'd be like, niggas don't even comment on my stuff. Like, yeah. what? Before they be in your DMs, I'd be like, okay. Like, I mean, you got all them followers. Ain't no telling what somebody's saying to you. Okay. Yeah. But that, Super like, insecure, though, right? Like that be like, oh, the followers don't. Do they turn you off on the, when you dating somebody, though? They turn I, me off. They turn me all the way off. Cause now I I feel like I'm gonna have to babysit your feelings now. Yeah. I feel like every time something happens, I'm gonna have to babysit your feelings, and I don't really got time to no, babysit it's like, your do you feelings. Trust me, you gonna let this social media stuff go to your head, or what you trying to do? They are gonna let it go to your head. You're not gonna be able to take what comes with it when it gets bigger and bigger. So you know what I'm saying? So when it gets when it grows into something bigger, how are you gonna be able to handle it? It's some I don't know, man. You do know that's that's called this right here, y'all. My thing life sucks. It's hard and it sucks. It sucks ass. Especially when you like, especially when you when when you got a name for yourself, right? And you, and you building. 
the the people I like. So like, hold on. So you're dating. So dating in 2023 was what? Give it from a scale of one to ten. What was it? A negative two. Ah. So why do people? So let me ask you this, because I see a lot of these posts. A lot of posts say dating. The dating pool got piss in it. Man, piss trash or like dead. Flatline. It's just terrible. you don't think you don't th- you don't think a lot of women fucked it up though. It wouldn't even be a lot of women. It would be the men letting the women fuck it up. What? That don't even make sense. Now yeah. you're just throwing it back on no. men. So you say it's our fault that we let the women yes, because men act don't like this. Like good women. Men like out of control women. They don't like good women. They like out of control women. What's a Look, good woman? Men made it hard for women. What's to a good woman though? Denzel Washington wife. Okay. Okay. Nice example. Nice example. Give Michelle me the traits. Okay, but give me the traits. But give me the traits of a of a good woman I'm just though. Saying loyalty. A good choice of, for me, a woman is, um, respect. Yeah, I think respect, loyalty, trust. Trust is huge. Trust is huge. I say friendship, and I. And yeah, I think we got to be friends first, right? Yeah. So you saying trust, friendship, loyalty? You gotta have loyalty, right? You gotta have some and respect. Respect. respect is number one. It's not a lot of respect around this month. Well, I I don't think it's a lot of respect. I don't think it's a lot of respect because, like you said, listen, we got we we're going through a thing where now people saying cheesecake factor is not a date. I don't. That's just social. That's what I'm saying. But but you saying media. just social media. You don't go through. You don't go by social media like that. But you got to understand this. It's a whole new generation that goes by social media. Even people that we know that that we probably older than or we grew up with. They do listen. Social media has got so out of line now. Where I don't even and I'm. I could be wrong when I say this. I don't even hear people say grace no more. I see people get their food at the table and they take a picture instantly before they even t- before they even say grace. I think social media has took on its own life and its own meaning to a lot of people now because a lot of stuff is microwavable now. That's, you know, self-gratification. Like, we want the things done now. So, and people doing stuff so they can be likes and people can share their stuff. They want to live a fairy tale. Mm-hmm. They want to live this life. That's why so many people are settling for bullshit. It's a lot of bullshit. Just say it. Would you settle it's for bullshit? Bull- no, that's why I'm single. That's why I'm fucking single. That's why I'm single. Dang. How long you been single? Okay, I knew this question was gonna come. Why did this question gotta come up? Just how long you been single? Well, oh, you done told some niggas you, y- y'all been together, but you really wanted no, to get. No, okay, so how long you been 20, single? I've been single, and you gonna probably think I'm lying. I've been single since 2012. I have not been in 2012? A, yes, I have not been in a re- real serious relationship since then. I just been. You dating, backed up like people. that? I just been fucking with people. Oh, okay, like, okay, 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 yeah. Yeah, you yeah, 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 yeah. I, I, oh, since 2012. Yeah, I, since I call somebody mommy. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. That's powerful though to be that that long. I have twelve I years. I'm saying that's that's the last time I was in a full full yeah. Relationship. That was the last time I was in a full com- before yeah. y'all had to share locations. You had to, you know what I'm saying. You've been, been by yourself. Everything. But I mean, yeah, it scarred me. It scarred you. Yeah, it broke my heart. <laughs> so I just, think a lot of relationships. Now I'm just. And then I just be chilling, and if it ain't for me, I'm gone. Now you're a pimp by blood. No, I'm not a pimp by blood. I'm gone. If it's something I don't like, there's red flag signal X. It's all for that. It's not my. How time. many red flags a guy got before you gone? Before you before you leave out of this relationship? Three and a possible. Ooh, you give them three and a possible. That's good. Three and a possible. That's good though. Three so so what's give me give me a deal breaker, not a red flag. Give me a deal breaker. The guy that was that was a deal breaker. That's a good one. I got a deal so, breaker. You know what my deal breaker is? She can't have no kids. I don't want to date. I, to be honest, I thought not a lot of kids. She I can have. She she can't kids. have a lot of kids. Nah, it ain't true. She I can't have. Nah, 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 nah. I got a son, but I don't want to date nobody with kids or gotta have. I prefer them to have their kids, and they be like, "Oh yeah, my kids." 15, 16, you know, up in age. You don't want to, so not not your not your son age. Yeah, you can't no. date a man. No. Hold on, hold on. Let's get this right. So, because this is a good question. So, I don't. Can want you to. date a man that has kids? 
mean, <laughs> no, that's what that means. Just say it. It's okay. No, I can't. No. I don't. I don't want to date a man that has smaller children. Like as far as my age, probably one. Okay, one. What if that was his only child and his child was four? Okay, cool. Okay, but to have. Steps yeah. and stuff. No, I don't want to have to. If I meet somebody, I, I really want them to say, oh, my child. I think women stuff. got it harder, though, because when y'all meet a guy, like, it's so much the box that he got to check out. Because, like, even if he do got, like, just say you do, I'll, I'll date you because you got kids, right? You got to make sure he and his kids like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's so much shit that women got to do to make sure, like, do you care if you're, the dude you dating in his kid's life? Yeah, hell yeah, my baby. That is an important role to me because I was raised. Oh, look at her! You got one got raised, soft right there. I was raised by my father. My daddy took care of me forever until he died in that grave. Uh huh. God, my I lived with my daddy for a long time. Yeah. In school shot. Like I had a real father. Yeah. He was a street dude, but my dad was a father. He was there. I lived with him. Big difference, right? Me. I feel sorry. You know, to be honest, like. My baby daddy don't do nothing for my child, and I feel bad sometimes because I be like, damn, I can't believe you don't get the experience. It is a hell of a thing to have your dad in your life. I wish he did, yeah. but he don't. But so why would I, if I don't agree with that, yeah. I wouldn't dare even fuck. First of all, I, he need, I shouldn't even be fucking on no type of man that don't take care of his kids. He, I shouldn't even want to give that to him. Yeah. I shouldn't even want to mess with him or give him I think it should be like, I think I it should be like, uh, that's not a turn on, that's a turn off because I'm in a, in a bad situation too. You know what I'm saying? I yeah. wouldn't even respect that because what am I getting out of it? Any man, man, take care of your kids. That's just it. Period. I got you right there. Like, take care of your kids. Like that, you know, I always take we, care of your kids. I gotta take care of my child. Yeah, for Why, sure. What makes you off the, you feel me? What makes you, uh, it, it, it don't, it doesn't, that doesn't <laughs> matter to you. Like, but no, I can't, I don't want to date nobody going to take care of their kids. I like fathers. Oh, like okay. Shout out to the shout out to the black fathers. Y'all heard what? Shout out up. to the black fathers. I know a couple of them, but take care of your kids. It's a lot of people that don't take care of their kids. And they just run around here like kids. Because women, when it is some women that allow men to do that because Most if women start putting their foot down and realizing that men need to take care of their kids, it doesn't, you don't matter. The relationship between the baby mama and the baby daddy shouldn't even matter. When it comes to the kids, it's the kids. Yeah, most definitely. Take care of your most kids. Definitely. If more women stood up for what's right instead of trying to nitpick and tear each other down, then it will be a less more yeah. problems. I think, I think it's the but same it's with men. I think it's the same thing with men. Like, uh, like me as a man. Um, Should tell your homeboy take care. Take care, yeah, and and I, and I'm gonna be and I'm gonna be honest. Like a lot of a lot of other podcasts, I say like, yeah, I'm gonna tell my name. I ain't gonna lie, like that's something I'm probably have never done, right? I never told any of my friends that had kids, right, to take care of their kids. Now, and I'm not saying that the people that I hang with um, don't take care of their kids; they're great right. fathers. But I am saying that's something that's not that's something that you don't hear about. You don't hear about homeboys telling. Um, they they homeboy, or they friend, or they brother, like bro, you gotta take care of your kids. You ain't seen your kids in this long. Like that's something that we will, as black men. And I'm not even gonna say black men, as men. Period. That's something that we don't talk about. You know what I'm saying? We won't talk about that. I don't think. Right? I don't see. I don't see uh somebody because. Nine times out of ten, what's crazy is that the people who don't take care of their kids, it be a lot of time, be the ones who really got a little something going got on. Got a little motion, got yep. a little money, got yep. a nice car, but yep. don't even want to buy that shit. Don't, yep. I mean. It's a dude, it's, it's a like, dude right now, it's a dude right now that'll buy his homeboy some shoes right now. Some nigga right and, now. And won't even buy his son no shoes or his won't daughter no shoes. Won't even acknowledge the fact that he got a kid. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. deep. So look, let me ask you this right here, man, because. This is a great. This is why the Born Rich podcast. This is this is what we do, man. We created platforms for people who building brands. Like I think this is a dope stylist right here. I always say that to myself, and when I see her come down my page, personality, like you, most definitely, like you need sauce. off the top. You got you need your own fucking show. I tell you this all the got time. The I, I tell her this all the time, man. What she was doing on. On her last, we're like, you got to keep doing that because I feel like a lot of women was tuned in to you. They want to listen to you, not just listen to you, cool. So they want to listen to you. They know the type of person you are and stuff. Yeah. So we for the switch it right here, man. Let me ask you this since you so much Cashville. Give me an artist that you listening to right now from Nashville. Ah, uh, Who? Good. You better I, tell no, me. We, I'm going to 
gonna keep it a buck fifty with you. I ride to buck every week. <laughs> Oh, most definitely. Shout out I to Young Buck. I ride to Buck, though. I ride to Buck. I yeah. like Trepper Mandel, Squeaky, but she's not from Nashville. Of course, you know I love we, Yeah, Buck we most Squeaky. definitely. You know we love Squeaky. Yeah. She moved back to Memphis on me. But anyhow, but now I'm on that volume four for the ladies with Twin. You know, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I know you're talking about. I'm hey, I know you're talking about. You see the, the, I'm, I had to download that because I love female rap and I love the fact what Avriana is doing for them. Like, that shit's yeah. dope. Shout me. out I to love, Avriana, man. Yeah. You most Shout definitely. Out to a, I love you, you are know. the voice of Cashville. For sure. We most definitely. I love what she's doing with yeah. them. And you know, I love girls. I love. I'm all for the women. I love women. So I'm all for the girls. Yeah. So you but, saying. So you saying, ladies, uh, volume four. Yeah, I, I just, you know, it just dropped young this Buck. week, so I had to, Young Buck, yeah. I okay. Travel Man Dale. Yeah, I stay. Trail Play Squeak. Yeah, that's it. So you. This my, this my, but, you know, and I do when I'm, you feel me, super crunk in the car, and I'm about to get ready to go out. I'm on the ABK gates when I'm straight Ooh. hood. I'm on the ABK gates. That's somebody who, that, now listen, man, that's somebody who don't. That the feature, hey, I be like. That's somebody who I feel like in my city don't get that credit, don't don't get that acknowledgement hey, yet, cause he dope. I'm on him super tough. He dope, I most am. definitely, man. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna, we gonna get him tough. on this show yeah, because like he it. he most definitely somebody who I've been paying attention to for the last two yeah, years. I like he dope. He uh, he dope. When I'm in my zone, you feel me? I'm putting on that old school. See, that mean a lot. That mean a lot coming. I'm going to tell you that. That mean a lot from what you said. Just all those different artists, various artists, and for the Arianas, for what she doing, right? The right. Bucks, the Triple Play. That's that's huge for us because you are most definitely Nashville and you got that culture in you. So those artists that you like, you take across the those state lines with you when you Man, when you going what? to go live in they Houston and stuff them. like that. Yeah, for sure. I, I be in their DMs telling them you better snap who to go. <laughs> they know me. I, for I, sure. I tell them all the time. Repost all they stuff. Whoever come across my timeline. Shout out Trevor it. Mandel. We yeah, love you too, man. We, 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 he know we, it. I told him bigger than Go life. get that free speech. He know. He know. I fuck with Dale though. I, but he been rapping for so long. These Some of them I know from growing up too though. But yeah. when I'm on my hood shit, I'm on the ABK case and all <laughs> you feel me? I'm swerving in my monster too. You say you got it. I don't believe you. I'm the feature. Yeah, I'm like. You feel me? Then I turn it to, then I tone it down. So yeah, you okay? I see you got different personalities. Yeah. That's why you're a good stylist. I am. I do got different personalities when I'm in my zone. Then when I'm in my mama, my mommy. That's good. I always shout out to the black mothers right there, man. How can we t tell it? Tell the world right now, man. This is your time right here. This is your shine. This is our girl. We love this girl so much. Our city yes. embraces this girl. We this woman. As let, let me let me straighten that because as, as you know, people are yeah. getting my thing. But man, you calling her a girl? She a woman. So yeah. I'm gonna switch it up and say the whole city of Cashville. We love this woman right here. We, I hope we, so. we, we, yeah, I most that we, guys, we love the attitude because, like you said, you do got that attitude, you got that personality that everybody like. I tell people this: you either gonna like, you either gonna like me, or you're not gonna like me when you meet me because my personality is huge, and I'm gonna make you. Yeah, I cannot help it that God made me this way. I can't help it that when I walk in the room, people glimpse and grabs on and levitate to me. I can't help it that people be <laughs> cheering me on. I can't help it that it's just in me, not on me. It's all around me. I can't help it because this is who I am. See, I'd rather have a smile than a frown. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And people always Facts. Think, you know, as growing up, I get, you too friendly. No, I'm not too friendly. It's just that why Why am I mad at you for? I'm yeah. not a hater. So I don't got to sit in the room or walk in the room with my nose stirred up or nothing. Yeah. You know, girls will sit here and be, it's like you mad at your own life. Cause I'm happy. I'm a supporter. I'm yeah. not. A, I'm not a hater. Definitely not. For I, you sure. Can't even mix that in my. That's not even. So true. tell it. So, so look now. Tell the world how people who want to get styled by you, who want to find you, who just want to get the personality. They don't want me to see. be a stylist so bad. I guys, do. I think. I, 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 but not just brand. a stylist. I think just the brand. Just you. Period. Just as the brand. Oh. Where can they find you at? Instagram. <laughs> I know. What's your name on Instagram? My Instagram is Black Mona Lisa. Black Mona Lisa on Twitter. Black Mona Lisa on Facebook. Just hit me <laughs> up. Black, Black Mona Lisa because it's a brand. Better get a movement. Oh, you see my shirt? Let me, let me show my shirt. I'm still selling my shirts. What it say? Can they see me? Of course um, they can see them. Th yeah, I, they can see. Hold on. Wrong way. <laughs> I thought a bitch with no style said something. Get you one. 
Those are your shirts right there? Yeah, you see Black Mona Lisa. Uh, okay, y'all see that right there, man. I thought a bitch with no style said, said something. Some. These they shirts right now. So y'all got a link in her. Y'all got to go on Black Mona Lisa on Instagram, no. Twitter. Yeah, Twitter. Yeah, hit her up. Go on her link. Find this right here, man. I thought a bitch with no style said they something. Ain't said anything. I've been trying to tell y'all. Y'all better get on the book, honey. <laughs> <laughs> they all the time, man. Listen, man. This is this is what we do. We try to create stuff, man. We try to put platform, create platforms for other people who can be on platforms, tell their story, tell everybody, man, the truth about they, you know, just how they came up and how they coming up and how they building their brand and, you know, what kind of brand that they got and stuff like that, man. So, I'm gonna always say this right here before we go, man, I'm gonna say this, man, get money, stay true, stay true, get money. That's what I'm gonna tell y'all. And if ain't nobody told nobody they love you, guess what? I love you, I love you, I love you. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, gunshot. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. <laughs>